Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is my multiplayer games programming assignment that I created for a, uh, a module at university. Um, the spec was to create a game that could be played over a network, so I chose Connect4 and I created a very simple server to client um, network connection using TCP protocols. Let me show you that in work. So I've got these batch files here that I created just to make it easier. Um, I'm going to run one server application. So we've got one server up and you can see the game boards there. Uh, the Connect4 has started, we're now waiting clients to connect. No one's connected yet. So we're going to be jumping back to the screen. Apologies, it's going to be lots of jump in here and there. Uh, run one client application. Let's run a client. The first thing the client sees is this login screen. This is one of the, the cool things that I made. You can uh, write in the IP address over the network, the port number, etc, etc. Here we go. Because TCP uses an IP address and a port number to connect. So uh, I've given the username Ben. You can put whatever you like in there. Ben. Uh, K, whatever. Connect. Boom, and then we get two things happening. First of all, on the server in the background, you can see Ben K joined the chat room. Fantastic. And on here, the client can now see the game board, the disconnect button, and the chat room itself. Let's add another client. Let's see that working. So run another client. Uh, we're going to call him Tom. He's going to be logging onto the same server. So now we've got Tom on the right, Ben on the left. I'm going to move these down a bit so we can see the server in the background. So Ben's on the left, Tom's on the right. You can see now the game start because it's distinguish that there's two players present so the game can win. You can see that in the background on the server. Move this out of the way a little bit more. So what we're going to do, we're going to have uh, Ben sent on a message. Hi. Bing. Again, three things happened. Uh, the client self refreshed. In the background you can see on the server from client Ben K, he said hi. And this pings, this broadcasts out to all the players on the all the, the clients connected to the server. And over here on Tom's version, you can see Benke says hi. So Tom will reply. You ready? Send. It's again on the server, on the clients, both of them. Here we go. Now let's let's play some game. Let's play some Connect4 and let's see how that happens. So uh, we're going to make Ben throw down here. So you can see in the background on the, the um, server, lots of weird stuff is popping up. Basically, with TCP, I selected TCP because it requires a connection to be made, so it's not like UDP where a message can be broadcast out and whoever picks it up picks it up. TCP requires a connection, so that's that's cool. Uh, it's it's more certainty of rec uh, uh, like receiving it, um, so there's you know there's more certainty. So if over the network, if there's like a network spike at that time and uh, the message isn't pinged out, maybe UDP would fail in that circumstance. But TCP requires that there's a a, a receiving. It receives and it it gets through. So and you can see all these weird symbols and stuff. Basically, I, I used TCP and encoded my own um, like messaging internal messaging system that the user can't recreate to send messages about the, the grid. So that would be the quickest, easiest way. Um, so we can see the game board updates. You can see the little R, the red token there. And obviously, both clients get an updated game board. Now we're going to make Tom lose just real quick so we can see. You can see all in the background the server updating. Okay, here we go. Here's what's going to happen now. Ben's going to win. Boom. Last one in. The server figures out that he's won. Ben gets the you win and they get a vote to restart button. Tom gets a you lose. Uh, they can vote to restart and when they both vote to restart, the game restarts. And we have another round of it. Blah, 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 blah. Now, this is great. Two clients into a server. What happens if another one connects? Let's try another one. Run another client. Let's see. Uh, Timmy connects. Now, Timmy is in spectator mode. Um, obviously, if it's a game that requires more players, this could easily be changed. But any other player that uh, connects now is just a spectator, and you can have an infinite number of other players joining. So, yeah, I can't even think of a name on the fly now. Spectator, spectator, spectator. And the server, as you can see, probably just in the background down here, is uh, constantly telling the players are joining. Let's disconnect these players. Disconnect. So client Timmy has left the server. Client Bloody Blah has left the server. And both. Um, players get a message of that, etc, etc. So, um, that is the majority of it. Um, the encoding messaging system using TCP, uh, player messages over the server being sent using TCP protocols as well. Um, they can disconnect, connect at any time, the login screens. It was a really cool module and I really enjoyed um, uh, programming network stuff, um, network applications. It was really cool. So, um, thank you very much. And